Welcome back to Central Equestria Loose and Live and Breathe Horses. We are here with um, Buck Branneman and this lovely little groundwork book. So today I just actually want to start with the introduction because I think there's just so many little um, things in there that just show about the man and who he is. You know, it's um, I can hear him talking in how it's written, so it's very lovely. So he says, welcome friends. This book contains some ideas for you and your horse to work through to get more comfortable with each other. And that really is what he's all about. There are many ways of going about working with horses and there's no right or wrong way. However, you may find that I have, that there are many things we all have learned to do we all have learned to do that has very little to do with actually riding horses. So this is the bit about, um, it's about working on yourself, not on the horse, isn't it? And um, how he says, you know, there's no right or wrong way. I love this. So it's not like a fixed thing that you have to be aware and have a look at yourself and what's going on. So the groundwork information contained in this will help you prepare both you and your horse for situations that unfortunately sometimes occur at the worst times. Perhaps when that big thunderhead is building off in the distance one day and you simply don't and you simply don your slicker and carry on. There are many things that accidentally occur with a horse. But if he's gentle and trusts you as a friend, then he'll allow you to help him out of trouble instead of seeing you as the trouble. So this is a whole big attitude thing. And I think also a real foundation of everything that we do that makes so much sense, you know, that your horse sees you as a friend and protector and a safe place and not as the trouble. And today we've also been working on filming a series about spooking. And this is a massive thing in this, you know, when the horse gets afraid or like he says here, you know, there's a thunderhead building or whatever and you get into trouble and you come across an unexpected situation. If your horse trusts you and you're that safe place, you do have a very good chance of getting through it, you know, that you're not adding to the trouble of your horse. And this is... Um, the big difference uh, in those spooky situations and also why you know some horses they'll spook more with one person than another person so this is back to our state of being okay <laughs> so some of you have been working at this for a long time and you realize what a commitment it is to become handy with a horse it seems to be a work in progress all of our lives if we can leave them a little bit better off than they were before we came, we've fulfilled our duty to them and to their maker. So this just has such a ring of humility, you know, that it's a lifetime goal and at the best we expect to become a little bit handy with the horse, you know. And I so often think or feel that, oh my God, I've got so far to go. Am I going to live long enough to even get a tiny bit? <laughs> further on or closer to where I would like to be and when you hear Buck um, also saying something along those lines you know it's such a beautiful thing and that our goal is just to be able to leave them a little bit better off you know it's um, yeah wonderful stuff your friend Buck Bannerman <laughs> so that's us for today we'll look forward to seeing you next time thank you for listening <laughs>